Okay, so in this lesson we are going to be describing the five basic power or exponent rules. Um, they're listed right here, so I'm not just going to read them out, but what I will do is I'll go through each one and explain why each, each one is the case. Um, so let's start with the first one. We have x to the a times x to the b is equal to the x to the a plus b. And I'll do this by example. So let's see here. Okay, so if I have what I'm trying to prove is that x to the a times x to the b is equal to x to the a plus b. Okay, and so what, can, what I can show here is that, let's say for example I had 2 to the power of uh, 3 times 2 to the power of 4. Okay, and what I'm proposing here is that that equals 2 to the power of 7. Okay, well 2 to the power of 3 is just repeated uh, multiplication, so that's 2 times 2 times 2 and 2 to the power of 4, so, so this makes here, 2 to the power of 4 makes 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and you can see that these are um, joined by multiplication here. So what I have in the end is 2 times 2 times 2, and so on and so forth, 7 times, which is 2 to the 7. Okay, So you can see that that is definitely the case for this. Now, um, these power laws um, are pretty simple up front, but they can be kind of confusing later, So, and um, but they're really important for understanding concepts later on as well. Um, okay, so let's move to the next one then. Uh, we have, uh, similarly, x to the a divided by x to the b. Okay, so we have x to the a divided by x to the b is equal to x to the a minus b. And I'll do this by example again as well. So let's say, for instance, I had 2 to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 3. And what I'm proposing is that would be 2 to the power of 4 minus 3. Okay, so um, let's take a look. 2 to the power of 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, all divided by 2 to the power of 3, which is just 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, and and what we get is we have a bunch of twos that can uh, divide each other out. Okay, so these ones divide each other out, and I'm just left with two, okay, which would be two to the power of one, and which is definitely equal to two to the power of four minus uh, three. Okay, the next one is um, a little bit of a tricky one. Um, because it really depends on where the brackets are um, that would affect this, uh, that make this true. Okay, um, and, well, these, both number three and number four, really rely on um, where the brackets are. So let's take a look. We have x to the a to the b. Okay, so what I have is x to the a all to the b is equal to x to the a b. Okay, now what I'm uh, proposing here is that this is, uh, and I'm going to use some smaller numbers here because otherwise it's going to get really messy really fast. Um, let's say for an example here I've got 2 to the power of 3 uh, squared. Okay, well 2 to the power of, this means 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So here's a 2 to the power of 3, and here's another 2 to the power of 3, which is 2 to the power of 6. And you can see that that was equal to 2 to the power of 3 times 2. Okay, so that this is true. Now, the reason why um, this is a little bit tricky is that if this bracket is not here, it's different. Okay, so I'll show you an example here. I'll use the same example without the bracket. Okay, now it's important to know that this bracket is, uh, because of um, the order of operations, makes that this operation happen first. Okay, but without, oh, so I guess I can highlight it here, I'll make it orange. In this case, this operation happens first, and then this one is second. because it goes brackets exponents. Okay, um, if I went and did the same thing without the brackets, I'd get 2 to the 3 to the 2, 
like that. Okay, now this one is a little, it's, it's, it looks the same, but it's a little bit different. Okay, there are no brackets, and so what we do is we evaluate the exponent first. Now, what we'd want to do is evaluate this exponent first, but we can't evaluate this exponent before we evaluate this exponent. So, in fact, this one comes first. Okay, and then this one, whole thing, comes second. Okay, so what that would mean is that 2 to the power of 3 to the 2. This is 2 to the 3 to the 2, which is 3 to the power of 2, which is 9. It's 2 to the 9. Alright? Um, just offhand, I don't know what 2 to the 9 is, but um, what we could have, well, let's just figure it out here, I guess. We have 2 times 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 2 and I told you this would get messy so we have 2 times 2 is 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512 okay so this is equal to 512 which is equal to 2 to the 9 okay and so you can see that these are slightly different um, so you got to be careful with your order of operations and make note if there are actually brackets there or not. Okay. The next one is uh, this one here. X to the x, x times y all to the a. And again, this is one where you have to really watch the brackets because you can get tripped up pretty easy if you don't. Okay, so this is x times y all to the a. And what we're proposing here is that this is equal to um, x to the a times y to the a. Okay, and so let's do this again by example. So let's say, for instance, I had 2 times 3 all to the power of, um, let's say, 2. I want to keep the numbers small for example's sake, otherwise they're going to get pretty big and um, I don't want to do, uh, I just don't feel like doing this mental math like this really quick. Uh, okay, so I got this. What I'm implying here is that this would be 2 times 3 squared. Okay, so well, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, 2 times 3 cubed. Okay, so what this would mean is I'd have 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. Okay, and so as you can see, what we could do is just rewrite this equation into saying 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. And all I've done is just group these all together. Okay, and so what I have here is 2 cubed times 3 cubed. Okay, and you can see that this rule has now applied. Okay, similarly, um, this last one, where it's x over y to all to the a is equal to x to the a times y to the a. It's this exact same thing that we just did. So if x to the a divided by y to the a is equal to x over y all to the a. Okay, and again I'll show this as an example. So let's say I had three-fourths all to the power of, I don't know, three. Okay. So what this would mean is that saying this is 3 fourths times 3 fourths times 3 fourths. Okay, which is 3 times 3 times 3 is 3 cubed all over 4 times 4 times 4, which is 4 cubed. And you can see that the exponent has uh, been applied to both the numerator and the denominator. Okay, which makes this true as well. Okay, now um, these are actually pretty simple ones to know, um, but it's often helpful for you to uh, just memorize these, but you should know that they do come from somewhere, and you can work them out if you um, if you forget. Um, it's just eventually, you know, if you're looking for the, looking to be fast at math equations, it's just often good to have these memorized, um, because otherwise you're going to just be spending a lot of time doing a whole bunch of expanding. However, for really complicated ex equations with lots of variables or weird fractions, it might be worth it to actually expand out the equation. Uh, once again, anyways, if you have any uh, questions, drop me a line, send me an email, or uh, contact me in, 
any other way, and I will try and get back to you and help you out with any questions you might have. Uh, thanks for listening.